Hi, and welcome to the central utility plant that will support the new High Performance Computing Center. This will be a standalone facility with approximately 8,000 square feet. The owner is the University of Texas. The architectural firm responsible for design is Atkins, and the prime contract responsible for construction is DPR. My name is Daniel Markgraf, and I will be your guide as we take a look at this facility. Let's get started. A 4,301 square foot thermal energy storage tank will hold 1.2 million gallons of chilled water and will be operated during peak energy cost. This will reduce energy usage by 20%, which translates into a cost savings of $200,000 per year. Cooling towers will be located between the energy tank and the plant. These towers will be constructed simultaneously with the building. They will be the primary source for cooling. To the west, is the transform yard. This yard will contain three 15 kilovolt selection switch boards, each connected to two transformers. Three overhead cooling doors will be located on the north wall for equipment accessibility and maintenance. The chiller room will house various types of water pumps. Each pump can circulate water at a rate of 2,000 gallons per minute. Three chillers will produce 1,200 tons of cooling that will cool the new supercomputer stampede. A 2,700 square foot electrical room will house switchboards and electrical panels that will distribute power throughout the building. The project is located on J.J. Pickle Research Campus, University of Texas in Austin. The site will be arranged with the construction area, superintendent and field engineer job trailer, material laydown yard, equipment staging and storage, project manager and MEP contractor trailers, a stabilized construction entrance, and the concrete and equipment washout area. Before construction can begin, approximately 5,000 square yards of existing asphalt paving must be removed. It will be done in sections beginning in the south and moving toward the north. This demolition will also consist of the removal of curbs, sidewalks, trees, and a fire hydrant. An underground electrical line, chilled water line, and fire line will need to be relocated after the asphalt has been removed. It is important to note that there is an unknown underground utility line located in the northwestern part of the parking lot. Once the columns are erected and the concrete slab has reached an appropriate cure time, erection of the wide flange beams that make up the roof framing can begin. To allow for the CMU wall and still erection activities to take place at the same time, the beams will be erected between the columns first. Once the north and south walls are constructed and using the embeds in the CMU wall as supports, the rest of the framing will be installed. After the framing of the building is complete, the framing for the cooling tower's base will begin. Thank you for watching this presentation on the Central Utility Plant. 